farmers what's going on welcome back to another hated video and in this video we're going to be talking about our next machine which is going to be the barbecue or bbq grill so let's get started and by the way today is the first of september and guess what you guys can add me now so i'm just gonna remove all the people and by the time you guys are watching this video you can add me so be fast once my friend's book gets full I'm not going to remove anybody. You'll have to wait till next month, which will be crazy. So make sure you're fast. So I just need to do some basic things on my farm. I'm back and I just need to have a look at boat. All right. So I'm, I've only got eight hours left, which is insane. So I need to get to my loom. going to collect some blue some batters. We're just going to fill this. We're going to do ice latte. And I'm just going to ask for help on the leftover crates. There we go. Just going to advertise the shop with the help of rest steak or maybe the peanuts. Yeah, the peanuts, actually. It's so good that now I can advertise with the help of peanuts. I don't have to go down just to look for the rest steak buckets. And I'm having, this is like the worst event. It's not mine, but I really hate this event so much. It's crazy. The paper literally gets full with crops and people don't even buy anything. It's insane. Like really insane i think Hades should actually remove this even from the game and they should try at something maybe with a lesser time like all the crops are produced 50 percent faster for 24 hours maybe that will work well because i don't think that there are a lot of benefits of this event it's just a waste unless you're having tea leaves and stuff like that but the same time we're having benefits but there are a lot of disadvantages of this event as well so i'm just gonna i think i'm gonna go with carrots um now, the good thing is that during this event, you can actually find a lot of crops in the paper and you don't have to plant. For example, people are selling crops for one coin. I can find carrots. So it's kind of waste to do something. That's why I just don't know. This event doesn't make any sense, at least to me. So we're going to come back to our machine. Here is your barbecue grill and just going to collect all my roasted tomatoes for an XP for one. And let's just have a close look at the design of this machine. All right, guys, so here is a close look at the design of your barbecue grill. So this kind of looks like a red colored grill. There are the metal framework at the bottom and the whole thing is actually on a wooden platform. And you can also see there are two bags filled with coal and then there's a wooden table. So a lot of details. And yeah, this machine looks really yummy. I mean, you understand me, yummy. So the mastery of this machine is also different. 30 hours for first star, 120 hours for the second star, 480 hours for the last star, which means all products will be produced 15% faster. All right, guys. So here is my barbecue grill. All the slots are opened. It's fully master and I do ready all the slots now this is the kind of machine in the game that i think makes the most amount of products to the game i think that's like um three six nine twelve fourteen products and all the products are very different from each other there are a lot of varieties of the products some of them are low level some of them are high level some of them are pretty easy to make some of them are a little challenging to make so we're going to be talking in detail but the little background information this machine unlocks only at level nine only 730 coins very very cheap it's gonna just take eight hours to be built so yeah that's it and it's this machine is also easy to fully master once you unlock the roasted tomatoes because they just need tomatoes and they take a longer time and you can also make a lot of coins by this machine so i'm just gonna start by the products and the first product that we have are the pancakes level nine it's going to take 30 minutes or 25 minutes in a fully mastered machine. Just going to need three eggs and one brown sugar. Probably not that challenging. Eggs you can always get from your chickens, which actually I never have enough eggs. So for me, it's ridiculous because I never find enough eggs. And for the brown sugar, you always have your um, sugar mill. So you can make a lot of stuff in here. Make sure you keep this machine running. See, I'm just going to put wine. I tend to keep all the products in the amount of um, 10. Um, the next product is the bacon and eggs level 11. It's going to take one hour or 51 minutes on a fully mastered machine. Now, the funny thing here is that if we have a look at the bacons and eggs, if we look at them separately, they both are kind of rare. Like, eggs are also not that easy to find. I mean, you can get them, but not that easily. And the bacons are also rare. You cannot find them in the paper as well. But you can find bacon and eggs together in the paper a lot of the times. 
And I never make this product for me, XR Rare, because I'm a high level player. There are a lot of other things that I have to make in the game that needs a lot of eggs. So I try to use my eggs wisely. Um, I don't really make the things that I can easily find in the paper. For example, I don't make rustic bouquets. I don't make a lot of cloche hats. Also, my machines are fully mastered, so I don't have to worry about anything. I can just easily get them from the paper. So bacon and eggs, you can sometimes find the paper. Like here, you guys can see somebody selling one bacon and egg. So it's very common. It's not that rare. So I don't make this. The next is the hamburger level 18. Gonna take two arm, two hours, one hour and 42 minutes on a fully mastered machine. Now this is very rare. You cannot find this in the paper. And even if you do, it's gonna get sold. Two breads and two bacons could be a little bit difficult if you're a low level player. Bread you can get from your um, bakery. It's just gonna need three weeks. It's not a challenge. And it also gets ready in five minutes, which will be easy. The only challenge here is the bacon which you have to manage, so make sure you have enough bags and you just keep collecting from them. Fish burger level 27, gonna take two hours, or 142 minutes, and it's gonna need two breads, two fish, one chili paper. I only have one and I don't have enough fish as well, so this could be also challenging to make. It's very rare, you cannot find this in the paper. Um, the only rare thing here is the your uh, fish that you have to catch in your fishing area, which you cannot find easily. So, Betty Boop helped me again. Thank you so much. I just got a purple voucher. Ooh. Wait a minute, that's crazy. That's insane. That should not happen. Butter and bread in a simple, in a single boat? Honestly, what I'm gonna do? And even that's a puzzle boat. So, I basically never skip any puzzle boats. And Haiti really wants me to skip boat, right? Like, let me have a look. How much butter do I have? Um... Yeah, 36 butter. I'm just gonna put three more. I don't even know if that's gonna work. We shall see later. So yeah, this is kind of hard to make. It's rare. I do not recommend selling this. The next is the roasted tomatoes. Level 30, you're gonna take 130 minutes or 116 minutes on a fully mastered machine. It's just gonna need two tomatoes. Now the good thing that it's easy to make, it will help you to fully master your machine. And it's a good way to make money as well. You can sell roasted tomatoes to make a lot of money. Roasted tomatoes are also used in the salad bar to make your BLT salad. If we see here, it just needs one roasted tomato. But the bad thing is that tomatoes are not common. They're very rare. So make sure you have a good stock of them in your silo. Baked potato, also kind of challenging to make. It's going to need two potatoes, one cheese, one cream and one chili paper. Now the good thing about this machine is that all the products are very different from each other. They're not like similar. Like we have pancakes, then we have roasted tomatoes, then we have burgers, then we have like breads. So a lot of varieties, which I really like. So again, the main challenge here is only your dairy. It's gonna take 35 minutes or 29 minutes on a fully mastered machine. It unlocks at level 35. Fish and chips level 41, gonna get ready in 130 minutes or 116 minutes. It's gonna need two fish, three potatoes. Actually kind of simple to make. You just need fish, which could be a little bit challenging. And I already have 11, so I don't have to make any more. As you guys can see, I'm out of fish right now because I've not been um, catching fish. I've not been doing any fishing lately, so that's why. Lobster skewer, also kind of hard to make. You're going to need a lot of seafood here. One lobster tail, one honey, and one chili paper. Honey, you can always get from your honey extractor. It's a raw material, so I do recommend having plenty of these in your barn. Make sure you keep collecting the honeycombs and keeping in honey and beeswax. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to... I have, I think I have enough, I'm not going to make any more. The garlic bread, which was recently added, unlocks at level 16. It's just going to take um, 15 minutes or 12 minutes on a fully mastered machine. You're going to need two breads, one butter, four garlic. Garlic is simple to make. Um, harvest, you can get that from your fields. But the challenge here is, again, bread and butter. So I'm just going to put one. A grilled onions are going to need onions and one butter. Onions are a little bit challenging now we're coming to the high level product. So onions unlock at level 68. Onions are rare. You cannot find them in the paper so make sure you have enough. For example, you guys can see I have zero. I think I do have onions on my baby farm. I'm not sure I'll have to look later. But it's going to get ready in one hour or 51 minutes. Unlocks at level 68. Now the next product is the winter veggies. Going to take 25 minutes and 21 minutes on a fully mastered machine. Very easy to make. You're just going to need some basic vegetables. You're going to need two carrots, a beetroot, potatoes, and two pumpkins. So I'm just going to put one. The next is the grilled eggplant. Level 90. You're going to need three brinjols and one salsa. Salsa is not easy to make. You have to make that in your 
um, sauce maker, and it's again gonna need potatoes and onions, which I don't have, and that's kind of sad. So it's rare and it's not easy to make. The next is the banana pancakes, which I love. Um, you're gonna need one banana, three wheat, two blackberries, and one cream. Gonna take one out of 51 minutes on a flea master machine. So it's not that hard to make, I guess. One cream is easy to get. And the next is a fish secure, which is also very easy to make if you have a lot of fish. So it's gonna need one fish, two um, sesame, one ginger, and three mushrooms. And that's it for all the products. So you guys can see a lot of products. And basically, this machine will be easy to fully master. Now, I'm going to come to the shop, and I'm just going to have a basic analytic at all the products. So, let's see what we have. Okay, so we have the roasted tomatoes, one for one eighteen coins, and ten for a thousand one eighteen coins. N not that expensive, but I think it's still a good way to make money, of course. And then we have the winter veggies, which one for um, one ninety eight coins. And 10 for 1980. It's kind of expensive and it's a good way to make coins. Fish and chip 2, 44 for 1, and 10 for 2,440 coins. It's a good way to make money if you want to sell them, but I do not recommend selling them because they are kind of hard to make. Bacon and eggs are very common. You can find them in the paper. 1 for 231 coins, 10 for almost 2,016 coins. I don't really sell this product and I don't even make this because for me eggs and bacon are rare so I try to save them. I can also easily get them from the paper. One lobster secure is very expensive for 17 coins, 10 for almost over 4,000 coins. Grilled onions, not that expensive, just 190 for one and 10 will be 1,000 over 900 coins. And then we have, let's have a look what other products. Okay, so we have banana pancakes. A one for three fifty two coins, expensive. Um, you can make a lot of coins by selling this as well. And then I no, this is not the product. Yeah, we have our garlic bread, one for one ninety eight coins, pretty similar to the actual grilled onion. So not that expensive, not that cheap, very basic price. And if you want to sell this, you can. And then we have the actual, yeah, the fish burger, one for 226 coins. I only have one. I really need to make more. And 10 will go for over 2,000 coins. So let's see what other items do I have from there. Yeah, one pancake for 100 coins, 10 for over, 10 for, I think, 1,080 coins. Not that expensive, but you can sell them because you're a, you're a low-level player, so you're obviously going to need a lot of coins. So let me have a look what other products are left. Um, I think I've talked about, yeah, I think the hamburger and the baked potatoes. So there are still a lot, actually. So I'm going to see. They're like, I think, 14 products. And, okay, so, yeah, one hamburger for 180 coins, 10 for, I think, 1,800 gold coins. Yeah, it's a good rating of money. It's going to get sold real quick so you can make a lot of coins by selling this. One baked potato for 298 coins. It's expensive, 10 for I think close to 3,000 coins. But remember that it's not easy to make. You're gonna need cream and cheese, which are rare and can be a little bit challenging to balance. One um, grilled eggplant for 324 coins, 10 for over 3,000 coins. It's a good way to make money if you wanna sell them. But again, they are rare to make because they're gonna need salsa and I don't know if there are any more products left to talk about. Um, nope, this is not the product from here. And I think that was it then. Yeah, I don't think there's any other product left. We've talked about each. Yeah, maybe they're the fish secure. Yeah, I, I didn't talk about the fish secure. I do sell a lot of fish secure when I have enough fish, which um, unfortunately I don't have enough right now. So I'm not selling this one for... 176 coins. It's very basic. It's not that expensive. So it's probably not a good way to make money. Also, because it's a high level product, and when you're a high level player, you don't really need a lot of coins. The only challenge is when you're a low level player. So for low level players, we have these products, which are like roasted tomatoes you can sell. Um, you can sell bacon and eggs if you make. You can sell pancakes. Um, you can, of course, sell the actual hamburgers and the, yeah, the fish burger. But the hamburger is a good option because it's just going to need bacons and bread. So that was it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you did, make sure you like this video. Subscribe to the channel for more Haiti videos I'll be posting almost daily. 
And yeah, now just add me and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.